And I'm back with the level known as Learn Layer 3. You know, I haven't been save stating at all, which is actually might be a good idea in case some of the footage accidentally corrupts or something like that. So maybe it would be a good idea to save state but, uh, just when you enter a level or something like that. I should say just when I enter a level. Why do I keep saying you or us or something? This is just me making the video. I must be going crazy by my own commentary. Hey, a box. Tides don't work well with vert vertical scroll, they move, so patch the ROM or turn off vertical scroll for tide levels. Yeah, the, what happens is that the tide moves with the screen when uh, when you have vertical scroll enabled, so it's never, or unless you, as I said, unless you patch the ROM, it's, so it's never really a good idea um, to have something like that, unless you got some really, really unique gimmick that can actually work with uh, this kind of water here. Yeah, this is a, this water is on layer 3. Uh, in Lunar Magic, that's called Layer 3, and look at those logs overlap each other, that is just such a nice touch! And, <laughs> anyway, yeah, look at just all oh, the palettes, such nice palettes! Again, I'm complimenting all over the place, and I'm doing it in my crazy voice, which does not do very well. <laughs> never, des a design warning, never put the message box in a level with Layer 3, it will freeze or shut off the Layer 3 when triggered. Yeah, I remember, I think, a VIP 4 level? that I played one I think it was VIP 4 that it it tricked you with a message box above the water and it 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 just shut off the water and, and it plummeted me right into a hole there was no way around it except just to avoid the message box and let's see ooh, through the pipe and the next level is called be different yes it is very nice to make yourself stand apart from the others no yoshis allowed because they do not wipe their feet before they enter buildings or caves like this and ooh, cave story oppression music yeah the name of this song is called oppression and it looks like we're in some sort of awesome gold mine how the heck did he even do this because when you change the palette of something in Lunar Magic, you change the palette for the entire level. So how the heck did he get two tone um, graphics of the same of two different color? You know, uh, well, hey, Disco Shell. Um, yes, another reference to someone. Uh, like when you use Lunar Magic, it you can only change the palette for the entire area. So he must have made like two separate batches of graphics or something like that. Uh, what's this say? Choose music that fits a scene, use a proper song for an area, try to use uncommon music. Yeah, that's right. If you if you use something like rockin' for a cave area like this, it'll just seem so out of place. Uh, so pick nice music, but make sure it fits the area. Um, and why would there be a... Go in the pipe! <laughs> why would there be rock music in a Mario game? I don't know, but I'm just throwing that idea out there. And whoa! Nuclear Koopas. Oh, I remember this area. It's... It's like a nuclear waste area, looks really neat as well. <laughs> Make land levels relevant to the surroundings, don't have a lava level in the middle of a forest. So instead they, instead of they have uh, some toxic waste here instead of some uh, lava in the forest. But that is a lava palette change right there. Um, I'm pretty sure I can fry these pretty easily. Oh, silver piece, what the, hey, hey, what the heck? That didn't spawn when I was over there, did that? I didn't see a silver piece switch there before. Um, I'm gonna just kind of hit this here and see what the heck goes on here and that does not affect the uh, Lakitu's inside the pipes. Lakitu, Lakitu, whatever you want to call them. I never really knew how to pronounce their names. I just kind of go with the flow and say whatever comes to mind first. I've heard there's those two pronunciations multiple times and I just noticed that flower at the top of the screen was actually flashing with the color of the lava. Um, don't number levels. That actually is a good idea there, because numbering levels is very generic. You can come up with a pretty simple name. Even if it's not very creative, a name is a lot more appealing than numbers. In, at least in my opinion it is. Uh, don't forget to use tiles that have specific sprites and objects, but make sure you use the right ones. Like, if you use a pokey in a castle area, it'll most likely glitch up and the thing won't look right. And I, that coin is not worth getting with Lakitu, Lakitu, whatever you want to call them, up above my head, raining death upon me with those spinies, and I guess the- ah, oh, that was just stupid of me. I should have just waited for him to pass overhead, but no, I'm not going down there. Oh, come on! I'm just playing badly all over the place, and oh, look at this nice land formation. It's looping around each other again, and you just keep throwing your spinies over there, and I'll be very happy. If people suggest things for levels, listen to them. At least consider their ideas. 
That's right, because if if you don't happen to come up with a, a different idea yourself, uh, someone might come up with an idea for you, and you might be able to bring it to life. And oh my god, don't kill me, Lakitu. Oh, I made it. Yay! And I gotta stop the recording after I uh, show this uh, wherever I'm going to the next area. You know, wherever the path is going to lead to, you know, wherever, wherever it's gonna make and the credits. Uh, so yeah, hold on just a sec. Okay, I'm here, there, and everywhere. Here's the credits for the game, I guess. And just look at this, it's just so... It's got the names floating in midair and stuff like that. That's just awesome! And there's the music and stuff like that. And by all these people that made the game, or at least I think they made the game. I'm not sure if all these people actually contributed to these. And I know a lot of these people on uh, YouTube, and I've actually subscribed to uh, some of these people. And there's Raukal in the credits. I don't, I don't ever remember him being... Uh, I don't ever remember him contributing to the hack, and uh, uh, yeah, I just, I'm just throwing that out there. The goal of this hack is to put an end to poor quality hacks. It takes very little effort to make it nice, so do so. Yes, that's right. You can do a little, little touches here and there on your hack if you want to, just to make things look nicer. And yes, everyone does have the capacity to be creative. And it, <laughs> that's f something funny that I noticed too, is that in, in Kaizo levels, You'll always notice munchers and cement blocks. That's it. That's it for the whole level in a lot of those Kaizo hacks, which is so boring. At least make them look a, a lot prettier. Uh, sorry to critique whoever uses those. I'm not naming names, but yeah, I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, on off indicator. Uh, these little areas here are all tutorials, um, but the last four or five, I think, at the bottom, bottom rows are... Um, what, uh, actual levels again. So let's just go to the little tips here. Putting multiple on and off switches next to each other can activate twice. Yes, it is! I, I played a level in one of the VIP series. So annoying when they have stuff like that. But I think that's why they did that, because it's difficult to precisely jump into a, just one block. Um, uh, see the revert the box above? Ooh, it changes colors. Yeah, basically, it allows you to see what they're talking about uh, by showing you a little example and showing you a switch. And here's one of those graphical changes that I was talking about. See that thing? That's actually a key. Um, to make a good gradient, press Alt and Right. Uh, click on the two colors between which you want to make the gradient. Oh, that's pretty nice, actually. I always wondered how to make palettes nice and smooth and blending, like really nice blending palettes. If a key isn't being used as a key, it changes graphics so the player isn't confused. Yep, this is a key. This ultra happy block right here. I'm just gonna throw it up. No, not up there. No. <laughs> oh, there we go. I wanted to get the lives. Yeah, if, if you want those lives, you gotta use the block and get up here. You could probably get up there without the block. That doesn't seem like too high of a jump, but I can't seem to get the running start there. I don't know, maybe because I'm a Mario hack noob. Better use of vines. And doink. It, nice touch of the, the, the alternate fine graphics, open some options with a bit of them. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true, because uh, any, and then come to think of it, any kind of uh, uh, graphical change will open up possibilities that'll make people go, ooh, like even palette changes as I've been going through all, all these parts. And layer two does not work well with fines. God, yes! If you ever played, um, a horizontal scrolling layer 2 level, you'll notice that you'll fall off vines a lot because of that. And here's a little face guy, it's like a hill with eye, and then, uh, yeah, you get the idea. A coins are the only tiles that can be used to indicate something, use tiles as much as, uh, to as much advantage as possible. Uh, yeah, I guess you could use other, like, landscape to build things to direct you where to go. In games, reset the order, uh, yeah, that's also pretty nice. In, in case someone decides to go into a reset door later on in a level to find out what it is and it leads them to the beginning of a level, that could be kind of frustrating for players. Uh, da, da. Oh yeah, like shells and stuff like that can go right through these message blocks, but Mario and Luigi can hit it just fine. Boink! And what's in here? Another prize? It is a feather. A very game-breaking item, may I add. Uh, oh, <laughs> I was just saying that it, um, you can really break a level by flying through it, and I've even showed you that in uh, my walkthrough of Super Mario World. Um, 
I think I'm running low of time in, of time in this part, so I think I'm gonna cut it off here. I'll see you guys in the next part. By the way, this is Yoshi's Island music in case you can't tell. A classic! Okay, see you guys later. <laughs>